Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Jack Hirsch. Shrouded view of South Sister there from our Mount Bachelor camera off the Outback lift. Lots of smoke and actually a few clouds on their way, not really here. This is, this is all haze and smoke right now in our area. And as we take a look at a farther image of it from Black Butte Ranch, you can see the mountains are definitely shrouded a little bit. Clear in Central Oregon, not as, it's, it's worse along the crest of the Cascades right now, but as we take a look, uh, looking toward Pilot Butte, uh, off of Aubrey Butte, we, we do have some visibility, you know, it doesn't look clear or it doesn't look obscure between Aubrey and Pilot Butte, but once you get past there, you can definitely see where that smoke is for sure. Here's our current fire map right now. We've been showing you this. It's looked like this for a good few weeks now uh, where the bootleg fire just sending out smoke most of the eastern half, two thirds, or I should say, the state, and then the Jack Fire covering the coast, the southwestern coast there in a light layer of smoke. And that is extending all the way through just south of the Dalles and all the way into Idaho as well. So, what is going to happen with that smoke? So, we do have good news that we do have a strong northwest wind right now, about 10 to 15 miles an hour. That'll calm down through the evening, but take a look at our smoke forecast. So right now you can see a lot of it just hanging out in the southeastern portion of the state, but then uh, we have this light smoke where we are, that is gonna start to shift out. I'll move out of the way so you can see that a little better. Once we get to about midnight, then the winds calm down and things just kinda hang out where they are. You can see some red around right where the bootleg fire is. But once we get here, we could see it shift up in that period when there's not that much wind. But good news is tomorrow's wind is out of the north or the west. We should see both winds. So right now in Redmond, 95 degrees, another really warm one, about 6 degrees above our average, 11 miles an hour out of the north right now. Mostly clear skies do have some clouds in the, in the area. So let's take a look at what this future track looks like. We see it get cloudy tomorrow. Then we actually see some chances for some rain through there. And then a significant chance for rain on Tuesday. Around Tuesday afternoon, you can see some pop-up thunderstorms popping up around there, and hopefully we actually get some precipitation from them and not just dry lightning. Allergy forecast, we've bumped that up to overall high. It's still just grass pollen. Current temperatures right now in the 90s in the most spots, and then we're heading down for another warm night around that 60 degree number. You can see 63 in Ben, 60 in Madras, 54 in Lapine, our coolest temperature for tonight. And then for tomorrow, Another hot one, just around 90 degrees, 94 in Redmond, 99 in Warm Springs, and 90 in Sun River. As we take a look at the next week, you see we do drop down with that chance of rain on Tuesday, but then right back up into the middle 90s for the rest of the week. That's been a check your weather. We'll be back after this.